Replacing assets one by one in 3ds Max can take a lot of time, but with the Corona Power Tools, you can replace dozens, even hundreds of objects in just a few seconds. First, we need to open the Corona Power Tools. If you don't see the toolbar, just right-click on an empty area in the main 3ds Max toolbar. Look for Corona Power Tools in the list and click it to show it. OK, look at the Corona Power Tools toolbar. The first icon is the Object Replacer. We're going to click on it to open the tool window. The first thing we need to do in the Object Replacer is tell which object we want to use as the new replacement. So first, go ahead and select the new chair model you want to use in your 3D matte scene. Now, back in the Object Replacer window, click the Add button. You should see your selected chair listed in the window. You will also see a weight column next to it. We will talk about that later in the video, so don't worry about it for now. If you accidentally add the ground model, it's easy to fit. Just select the object in the list and click the Remove button. Or if you want to remove everything and start over, you can click the Clear button. Next, let's look at the cloning type. You have three options here, Copy, Instance, and Reference. We explain the difference between these in another video. For now, if you're replacing many objects with the same new model, using Instance is usually the best choice. It helps save computer memory and makes your scene run faster. We have our replacement object loaded and we have set the cloning type. Now, we just need to select the objects in our scene that we want to replace. Go ahead and select all the old chairs you want to swap out. With the old chair selected, click the Start Preview button in the Object Replacer window. This is really helpful because it gives you a live preview right in the viewport. You can see exactly how the replacement will look before you make any permanent changes. With the preview active, let's click on Advanced Options. Here, you can decide if the new object should keep the original layer, rotation, and scale from the old object they are replacing. Or you can choose to use the properties from the new object instead. It really depends on what you need for your specific project. But often, it's a good idea to keep the original settings, especially if your old objects are positioned exactly how you want them. If you're happy with how the preview looks, click the Apply button. Now, let's talk about something really important with replacing objects, the pivot point. This is the point around which an object moves, rotates, and scales. It's important to have the pivot placed correctly to get results you expect. For example, with chairs, you usually want the pivot point at the bottom center, so they sit correctly on the floor. But for a ceiling lamp, you may want the pivot at the top center. Sometimes, especially with models you download or import, the pivot point can be in a strange position, maybe floating far away. Look at this chair, for example. Its pivot point is really way off. If we try to use the object replacer with this bad pivot, the new chairs won't line up correctly like they did on our previous example. But the Corona Power Tools also include the Pivot Placer tool to fix this quickly. Let's select the object that has the bad pivot point. Now, find the Pivot Placer icon on the Corona toolbar. We're going to use this to move the pivot to the correct position. In the Pivot Placer window, look under Mode. You will see two options, Bounding Bots and Point Selection. For simple adjustments like centering the pivot or putting it at the bottom, Bounding Bots works great. Now, click Start Preview so we can see our changes live in the viewport. We want the pivot for our chair to be centered horizontally and right at the bottom. So we are going to set X Alignment to Center, Y Alignment to Center, and Set Alignment to Minimum. You should now see the preview pivot perfectly centered at the base of the chair. If you need to adjust the position, you can also use the Offset field. Once you're happy with the pivot placement, click the Apply button. Now, if we go back and use the Object Replacer again to replace the chairs, you will see that everything works correctly. OK, let's quickly go back to the Weight and see the options in the Object Replacer that we skipped earlier. What if you want to replace the old objects not just with one model, but with several different models randomly? First, add all the different replacement models you want to use to the list using the Add button. Now, look at the Weight column. The Weight value controls how often each replacement object appears. For example, if we add two different chair models and give the first one a higher weight and the second one a lower weight, the first model will appear more than the other one. The great thing is, while the start preview is active, you can adjust these weight parameters and right away see the results in your scene. And if you like the distribution ratio, but want a different random arrangement, that's where the seed option comes in. Changing the seed number creates a new random pattern based on your weight without you having to change anything else. This is super useful when you are placing things like plants or rocks, where a bit of controlled randomness makes the scene look much more natural and less repetitive. So remember, combining the object replacer and the pivot placer from the Corona Power Tools can save you a huge amount of time and effort, especially when you're working with scenes that have a lot of repeating elements like furniture, lights, accessories, or vegetation. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. 
and thank you for watching.